Hey YouTube and welcome back to another video, thanks for joining me. So if you're new to this channel, then you enjoy tropical fish, reptiles, amphibians, bear setups, aquascaping, all that good stuff, then you're definitely right in the right place. So if you can hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. But for those of you who've been following the channel for quite a while, um, recently we've been doing a nanotank series where we've been setting up some new aquascapes and adding some new fish. A couple of videos ago we managed to scape a death tank for my beta fish Bruce and then a little bit later on then we added some Monte Carlo into the tank to see how that would get on without any additional CO2 injection. So I thought I'd give you an update on this today and we'll go through that in a bit more detail. So if that's something you're interested in then please stay tuned. Without further ado let's crack on with today's video. Okay, so welcome back. So like I said, today we're gonna to do a rundown of Bruce the Beta Fish's tank. We're gonna just see how everything's been going, how the plants are doing, how he's doing in general, and things that we're gonna be looking at or working on going forward. So firstly, before I start this video, I think um, I just wanna point out that I did wanna try and use my new camera to film this video. Um, all the B-roll shots of the tank, and Bruce himself, and the plants, all that sort of stuff has been filmed on my camera, but for some reason I can't get the sound working the way I want it, and it doesn't sound very good on the camera with the external mic, so we're gonna flip back to the um, using the good old fashioned mobile phone, um, just for while I'm talking. But hopefully I'll get the issues resolved with the camera and we'll do full videos with that going forward. I don't think it's going to matter for now. So enough of me talking rubbish about cameras, let's crack on with this tank. So this tank's been set up for just over a month now. Um, we did escape it back about three or four videos ago. I'll put a link down in the description as well. So if you haven't yet seen that video or the one where we added the Monte Carlo, I'll add that in there as well. So if you want to go and check those out first. So like I said, the main purpose of this video is to give you an update on how the Monte Carlo is going. So it's been in there for probably just over a month now. Um, we have seen some growth and I'm really happy the way that it's turned out. I've moved the filter and the heater to the back, around the back of the plant. So in the past it was fully visible. So I think that looks a lot better. So there's a lot of back soil with nothing in it at all. So it did have a lot of dead blank space and looked a bit brown and boring. So I think the Monte Carlo was a perfect addition. Never used the plant before and read a lot of things about how it wouldn't grow very well without CO2 but it seems to be filling in a little bit and I did have to go back and check out the last video when we planted it just to see what it used to look like. It's had spread a little bit and it started to root. I am in the process of trying to dial this tank in at the moment and we have got a little bit of algae growth and a few sort of diatoms and that sort of thing. Um, I am reducing the light period at the moment, it's down to six hours of light now a day. It was on about eight to nine. I think. Um, so we'll gradually increase that back up to about nine hours, but I'll probably leave it in stages and leave it for a month and then up here an hour, leave it a month, up here an hour and that sort of thing. Um, just so we're getting used to how much food is going in there because there's no cleanup crew in this tank because I think Bruce would probably eat shrimp and anything smaller than he was. Um, so we're going to try and get this down to a T now within terms of the lighting, the feeding. I'm doing water changes on this tank about three to four days. Um, and I generally do most of the nano tanks in one go, like the ones behind me as well. And Bruce is doing really well in this tank. He's been swimming around, he's enjoyed his new scape. He tends to like to hide in the plants at night and then likes to pop his head out in the morning when the lights come on to check me out. I'm feeding him sort of every two to, yeah, probably every other day, every two days. Um, he's getting a combination of flake, pellet, frozen food like uh, brine shrimp, uh, frozen bloodworms, daphne and that sort of thing. Um, I try to vary his diet up as much as I can, um, obviously just trying to keep him interested. I'm going to try him with something new today I haven't tried before. Um, you've probably seen these before, I've got some bug bites um, from Fluval. So I've heard good things about them, never tried them myself, so we're going to give him a go today and see how he likes them. Um, they are quite in quite large granular form if you can see, so you might like to play with them for a bit. Um, but we're going to try them out today and see how he gets on. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this as well, so if you want to give them a go yourself, then you can go ahead and get that in the description. I'm not being sponsored, this is just something if you are interested. 
So like I said, I'm really be happy with the tanks going. Unfortunately, we have got a little bit of algae and a little bit of diatoms going on at the moment. The tank had a water change yesterday as well. Um, so we'll carry on making sure we do regular water changes, try and keep on top of this, try and keep the waste down to a minimum and just give ourselves the best chance of avoiding the algae. I'm adding fertilizer into this tank at the moment, which again, I'm gonna be looking at because perhaps there's too much going into the tank. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that as it goes forward. I'm using CKM Flourish at the moment for fertilizers. I'm going to look at getting some um, iron, some potassium, and some separate, more specialist um, fertilizers for it because I'm noticing some of the plants are getting some brown spots um, and starting to get some pinholes. So those, hopefully, those will adjust or repair or you know prevent those plants from suffering in the future. Overall, Flourish is a really good um, fertilizer. Um, I find that it contains most of the trace elements you need, not perhaps as high in some cases, and that's why I'm probably gonna look to buy some separate fertilizers as well, like iron, potassium, and that sort of thing to combat that. Since the last video, I've added a lid for this tank, just some clear uh, three mil acrylic, and I've managed to get a hole in the middle as well, just to make feeding and fertilizing a bit easier. Um, I still need to cut a little bit out as well, so it fits over the light and nice and flush to the tank, but we'll get that done as soon as we can. But as always, if you're interested in anything to do with this tank, I'll leave details in the description down below as well with a list of the plants, any of the materials we've used, and I'll leave links in the description if you want to go out and get anything similar yourself. I just want to make this a quick short video today, um, partly to get used to the camera, um, which we weren't completely successful in. Uh, we managed to get some footage as well, which I think is a little bit better quality, um, but hopefully we'll resolve the sound issues in the next couple of videos and we can use that camera all the way through. But I didn't want it to be a lengthy video this week, I just want to give you a bit of an update on what's been happening with this tank, um, and obviously in particular the Monte Carlo, and obviously give you a bit of an update on how Brucey Boy is doing. Um, but if there's anything you'd like to see going forward or in the future, um, then please comment in the section below. Um, again, if you have any questions at all, I will be doing a Q&A video coming up, so if there's anything you'd like to ask me, then please comment, message me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then again, the links are in the description as well. But as always, I really, really appreciate any of your support. And if you can just do me a massive favor and hit that like button, share the video and show me any sort of support, it really shows YouTube that you're enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like this and help you guys out in the future. But again, that's enough from me waffling on for this video. Enough from Bruce and we'll see you next time.